Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, founder of The Voice for Fitness with your one minute fitness after 50 tip of the day. If you're already stressed, you have a get out of jail free card from me. So here's why. Exercise for a lot of people does help burn off some stress, some adrenaline, and yet if you're already overtired, over fatigue, you go to bed, you sleep well enough, but you don't really wake rested. You never really feel like you've got a great night's sleep and you have a ton of energy you don't know what to do with. Wouldn't that be nice? It may be a day when you actually need to stay consistent, but do something off of your regular workout routine. Maybe you don't need that tough day at boot camp or that tough day on the treadmill. Maybe what you need is a yoga class or a walk outside in nature to decrease your stress level. So here's why. The hormones in your body that respond to stress respond the same to work stress, emotional stress at home, exercise stress, and if you're trying to cut back on calories, maybe a little bit too much, that's extra stress for your body too. The combination of all of those elevate your cortisol level. When you have too much cortisol in your body, you actually hold fat. You're gonna store it. You're gonna tend to probably have a little bit more craving for sugar in the afternoon when you do that. You might not give in to it, but you still will hold on to the fat you have. Even if you don't eat a sugary snack, have insulin surge, which makes you store that fat too. So if you just go for stress, 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 and decide I'm gonna stick with my exercise plan and add more stress, it could backfire on you. But instead, if your cortisol and stress hormone is high and you take a nicer, easier approach to what it is that you need today, you may find you rebalance your hormones so you're in better shape to go ahead with your program and your regular plan of attack tomorrow instead of putting on too much stress to you. Those people who tend to exercise a lot, frequently, hard, and never seem to have a problem with getting over stress, look at the rest of their lives as well. They may not have as much on their plates as you might. So give yourself a little bit of a break and take a little bit more of a day off and decide. If you do decide to stay with it, stick tough, start and do 10 minutes of your regular routine. If by that point it doesn't feel better and you still feel fatigued, go ahead and stop because you're not doing more good. You're actually probably setting yourself back for more fatigue and more fatigue, which will be cumulative and keep you from getting to your goal. And that was Deborah Atkinson with your one minute fitness after 50 tip of the day.